when I first got to know you, it was, well, this is a former Second City guy mm, mm. Uh, who probably was interested in sketch comedy and then got into very quickly when you came out to LA, yeah. you got that Walking Dead gig, right? So quick. So like quick. within a matter of months. Yeah, literally in like half, six months, I got I got that Did show. you have any disappointment before you got that gig? I did. I had, um, I, I, I was out for pilot season and I had auditioned for this uh, network pilot that I got to the last stage. It was me and this other guy and I didn't get it. And I was like decimated that day. I was, I, I they've told this story, but like I was eating at an IHOP by myself and like, well, that's, a first little... of all, that's a tr sign of trouble right away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's up there with drinking alone. Yeah. You that can't go to an IHOP <laughs> alone. And not by yourself. <laughs> Give me all the pancakes. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> it was. It was. Mr. Young, please. All of them. <laughs> it was not great. <laughs> and, and so yeah, I I got a phone call there saying I didn't get it, and I thought it was done. And then you know, two months later, the thing that I couldn't have gotten if I had gotten yes. the original thing. Yeah. So I don't know. I after after that, I just stopped. I mean, I, I still bug out, but I stopped like forcing it. Well, you know, I this this hits on one of the great lessons I try to impart to people, which is, and I've I've said this many times, but I keep repeating it because I think it's so elemental and true. It, there are these disappointments that you hit along the way, and I you know believe I've said this, but I was convinced it was my destiny to be a writer for Late Night with David Letterman. Like my, like that mm. is the key, mm. I, you know, and it, it almost feels like Lord of the Rings. If I don't, I need to cross that bridge to get to the other side. I'm just trying to pull Gorley in. I need to cross that bridge. <laughs> uh, and, I love bridges. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge? Hates, by the way, by the way, hates uh, all Tolkien and uh, Lord of the Rings, but any kind of bridge talk, he says here. Oh man. We'll talk, we, we talked for an hour about the Triborough the other day. We're doing suspensions next week. Yeah, yeah we are. We'll, okay. get to it. we'll get to it. That's I'm next sorry, week. Just excited. It's next week. Jeez. It's next week. Right. And I have the specs you asked for. Thank you. Um, but no, it it felt like the only way to get to the magic land is I, I need to uh, be doing for Dave, um, you know, uh, what, um, you know, I need to be a writer on that show and I need to do some performing on that show. And that's, I just felt that that was the thing that had to happen. Mm. And when it didn't happen, I thought, well, that's it. Now, if I later on helicopter out, I call it Google Earth. If you pull way out and look at your whole life, if that had happened, I would not have worked for Lorne Michaels, who would not have noticed me and thought, hmm, maybe that idiot could run, uh, could be a talk show host. Um, none of that would have ever happened if the thing I wanted it, you know, and uh, to happen, happened. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't change a thing. And that includes a lot of missteps and disasters along the way, but people need to know that. They need to know that because in that moment when you're sitting in an IHOP yeah. and you get that call yeah. and you just look at the the waitress <laughs> and go like, more, <laughs> more syrups, yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I go this. to an IHOP alone every morning. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> well, you're doing right. Okay. No, no, no. You're, you're, doing, right, you're right. doing you. Okay. That's you. All right. It's not sad when you do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's a celebration to go to IHOp alone. <laughs> well, well, now you have twins. Oh yeah. yeah. So Anything going alone, going anywhere alone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you've been through this. You have two young yeah, kids. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I am no longer in that boat. My kids are are teenagers, but when they were little. If someone said, we have an Iron Maiden here, you know, <laughs> we're going to lock you in it uh, and spikes are going to go into your flesh. I would say, would I be alone? <laughs> well, yeah. So my, my kids wouldn't be with me. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Clang. <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, we're supposed to lock you in it. You're not supposed to jump into it and shut it behind I you. I said no calls. I said no calls.